Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that preparations for the participation of the Bahrain team in the Ironman Championship held in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, are in full swing. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, who leads the Bahrain team, said that a large number of prominent professionals are taking part in the triathlon. He affirmed the keenness of the Bahraini team to ensure positive participation in the championship in which a host of professionals will take part. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed confidence in the team to boost Bahrain's reputation in the triathlon sport thanks to their past experience, unparalleled enthusiasm and high spirit to stand out in the competitions. As part of his preparations for the race and in a test trial of the official cycling track, Sheikh Nasser rode 45 kilometers in a training session to test his physical fitness. He also attended alongside the Bahraini team members a technical meeting by the organizing committee and was informed about the three stages of the world event. He also toured the Ironman Expo which is held on the sideline of the World Championship and praised the Ironman related items on display which shed light on what is needed for the sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser attended a technical meeting held by the organizing committee of the triathlon. His Highness also toured the Ironman Expo, which is being held on the sideline of the championship. The foreign ministers of the GCC states held a joint meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry with the participation of the foreign minister, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The meeting was held prior to the meeting to be held between the GCC leaders and the U.S. President in Riyadh on the 21st of April 2016. During the meeting, they reviewed the relations between the GCC states and the United States and the need to preserve the security and stability of the region. They also underlined the progressing relations between the two sides. The meeting also reviewed the situation in the region, mainly developments in Syria, Yemen, Iraq and Libya, and ways of combating terrorism in addition to regional and international issues of common concern. After the meeting, the Saudi Foreign Minister Adil Al-Jubeir and the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry condemned the Iranian provocations in the region. Al-Jubeir condemned Iran's interference in the affairs of the region and its attempt to smuggle explosives to countries including GCC states. He stressed that if Iran wanted to have strong relations with the countries of the region, it must change its policies an approach and adhere to the principle of good neighborliness and non-interference in the affairs of the countries of the region. For his part, John Kerry underlined his country's support to the GCC states in maintaining security and stability. He said that the Manama meeting is held prior to the meeting which will be held between the GCC leaders and the U.S. President in Riyadh on April the 26th, 21st. He said that President Obama is very much looking forward to the GCC summit to underscore America's commitment to the Gulf nations and to support greater stability and peace throughout the region. Kerry also called upon Iran to constructively respond to the efforts to make peace and to help to resolve serious conflict rather than continue to send weapons to the Houthis and to encourage them to join peace talks.